Heavenly Father, I thank you for this wonderful opportunity to come boldly to your throne of grace and mercy in the name of Jesus. Father, I lift up the husbands and the wives to you again. I lift up our marriages to you again, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, please forgive us of all of our sins and wash us with the redeeming, atoning blood of your son, Jesus. Father God, I cover the marriages with the blood of Jesus. I cover my husband and all of the husbands with the blood of Jesus. I cover the wives with the blood of Jesus. I cover the children with the blood of Jesus. Father, you said in the book of Malachi chapter 2 that you have a special plan for marriages. Father, you said in verse 14, you cry out, why doesn't the Lord accept my worship? I'll tell you why. Because the Lord witnessed the vows you and your wife made when you were young. But you have been unfaithful to her, though she remained your faithful partner, the wife of your marriage vows. Verse 15 says, didn't the Lord make you one with your wife? In body and spirit, you are his. In body and spirit, you are his. And what does he want? Godly children from your union. So guard your heart, remain loyal to the wife of your youth. For I hate divorce, says the Lord, the God of Israel. To divorce your wife is to overwhelm her with cruelty, says the Lord of heaven's armies. So guard your heart. Do not be unfaithful to your wife. And so, Lord, I thank you for your word in verse 16. So guard your heart. Do not be unfaithful to your wife. And so, Father God, I thank you for filling our hearts with faithfulness. I thank you that families are faithful to you, Lord. We seek first your kingdom and your righteousness and all that we need is being added unto us. And so, Father God, we repent for doing anything that would disturb or disrupt your plan and purpose for our marriages. Father, I thank you that you have removed the stony hearts, the unfaithful hearts, and you have placed inside of us your heart. And I thank you, O oh God that those you have joined together in marriage, no one will be able to separate in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father God, for uprooting anything that's planted in our marriages that's not of you. But Lord, I thank you that we plant the seed of your word and there's a blessed marital harvest, a blessed righteous harvest in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that we guard our hearts and we remain faithful to you and faithful to our spouse in the name of Jesus. Father, you said in your word, likewise, husbands, live with your wives in an understanding way, showing honor to the woman as the weaker vessel, since they are heirs with you of the grace of life, so that your prayers may not be hindered. And that's 1 Peter 3, 7. Lord, I thank you that husbands and wives are living together in shalom, peace and love. I thank you, Father God. The husbands and wives are praying together, reading the word together, living the word together, and teaching the word of God to their children. Father, I thank you for Colossians 3.19. Husbands, love your wives and do not be harsh with them. Father, I thank you that Colossians 3.19 is fulfilled in the name of Jesus. Father, I release Ephesians 5.25 over our marriages. Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. Lord, I thank you. And Lord, you said in Ephesians 5, 28, in the same way, husbands should love their wives as their own bodies because he who loves his wife loves himself. And so Lord, I thank you for pouring love in the hearts of the husbands and the wives. Father, they love you and they love each other in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Father, I thank you for this word that there's faithfulness in the marriage. There's no more adultery. No more unfaithfulness, no more divorce, no more wickedness. Father God, cover us with the blood. Surround us with your warrior angels. Father, surround us with your wall of fire in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you that husbands and wives respect each other. Ephesians 5.33 says, However, let each one of you love his wife as himself and let the wife see that she respects her husband. However, let each one of you love his wife as himself and let the wife see that she respects her husband. Father God, I thank you for restoring the marriages, restoring the years the palmer worms ate up. Father God, I thank you 
for removing every Hagar from the marriages. Anything or anyone that's trying to destroy the marriages, Father, remove them now. Remove it now in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you, hallelujah, that the curses are broken off of the marriages. The evil covenants, contracts are destroyed. And Lord, I thank you that husbands and wives and their children are in covenant with you. And husbands and wives are in covenant with each other. And they're faithful, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, I thank you for doing a new thing in the marriages. Behold, I do a new thing. It's springing forth. Don't you perceive it? I'm making a way for you in the wilderness. I'm making a way for your marriage. I'm saving the husbands. I'm saving the wives. I'm giving you the jubilee blessings. I'm giving you restoration. I'm giving you what you need because I know you by name in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for your word. I release Jeremiah 29 verses 11 to 14. Father, your word is being fulfilled right now at superluminal speed because your word will not return back unto you void, but it will be accomplished. Father, you said in your word, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. I will be found by you, declares the Lord, and I will bring you back from captivity. Father, I thank you for delivering the marriages from captivity. Lord, turn the captivity of the marriages, oh God, and give the husbands and wives double for their trouble oh god in the name of jesus father god turn these marriages around turn the captivity of these marriages oh god and restore them doubly father in the name of jesus like you did for job restore cause them to recover in all father the thief has been caught and he must give them back seven times what he has stolen from them and i covered this prayer with the blood and i sealed this prayer and all of us with the eternal seal of the holy ghost amen amen Amen. Hallelujah. Faithfulness is a river flowing in the marriages. Shalom, peace. Father God, wholeness, wellness, tranquility, harmony, prosperity, favor, humility, truth, wisdom, knowledge, understanding. They're flowing in the marriages right now. Lord, I thank you that Jezebel, Ab, Athalia, marine spirits, Leviathan, witchcraft, they're bound and cast out every perversion, every lust, generational curses, familiar spirits. They're bound and cast out all the deception. They're bound and cast out infirmity, sickness, disease, poverty, debt, lack, bound and cast out. In the name of Jesus. But Father God, I thank you that the blessings of Abram are pouring down upon the families now. Glory to God. Truth pouring down. Holiness raining down upon them. The floodgates of heaven are opened up over the marriages and we use the keys of the kingdom and we bind and cast out into the brimstone abyss everything that's not of you father god anything that's not of you we bind them cast them out we bind them and cast them out but father god we release your will we loose your will in the name of jesus love and joy father upon these marriages love and joy reign upon these marriages oh god i thank you intimacy romance they're raining down upon these marriages in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you that we hear joy. We hear rejoicing, rejoicing, rejoicing. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Husbands and wives are rejoicing because the oil of gladness is upon you in the name of Jesus. God has given you double for your trouble. He has removed the shame and he's given you a beautiful crown for your ashes. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen, amen, amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah.